Welcome back to Adobe Photoshop CC. In this tutorial, we're going to explore the power of the quick selection tool. So these two images I have here, both I shot at uh, Arches National Park in Utah. And uh, I'm going to show you how to basically isolate some selections using the quick selection. Now this particular image, you could use the magic wand, click in the sky, and then hold the shift key and you know slowly get a couple areas here so this image could go both ways you could use the magic wand because the color in the background is fairly unified however the quick selection tool the way it works it works with edge detection uh, and by default it's set to the plus uh, which is add selection and you can change the brush size of the quick selection by using the bracket keys so right bracket will make it bigger left bracket will make it smaller Typically, with this tool, the way it works, you click and drag inside whatever you want to select, and you want to do it a little bit at a time. You just click, click. The reason why is because what will happen is, if you go too far, you cannot undo. Watch, I'll, I'll click out here as an example, and then I'll uh, undo by hitting Control-Z or Command-Z, and I can undo that. If I just clicked and dragged all the way up as one swipe, and got the sky also I wouldn't be able to keep the selection I already had so it's very important to kind of use this as a click 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 kind of action now you can see I basically grab that entire rock pretty quick and easy then I can click on the uh, square circle which looks like a little camera icon and I can check it again with the camera icon quick mass mode to see that I have indeed selected the rock uh, and I'll go ahead and click on that square circle and voila now we have the checkerboard background and at this point I could add a new layer uh, by clicking on the new layer tab next to the trash can, drag it below the other layer, and then use my handy paint bucket tool. Again the hot key is G and click on it. If you have the gradient tool selected you can mouse down, hold the mouse down until you find the paint bucket. Click and pick whatever color you want, um, maybe I want some crazy intense red for the background and then click and now you can see the selection uh, separated a little bit clearer if we zoom in you know that is a very good selection overall uh, again because this has very strong edges that's why it works really well let's go to the next image here in this image what if I want to select just the rocks uh, the sort of arch here and the foreground rock but not the background rocks the landscape here or the sky. Well if I try the magic wand tool what would happen is I'd click click and it would take several clicks to get that so it's not really the correct tool. I've already done it here you can see by holding on the alter option on the eyeball this is exactly what I want to select so let's do that here on this layer. Uh, what I'm going to do is use the quick selection tool and again you want to make sure it's small enough uh, in terms of diameter to slowly click and drag. Now I typically like to zoom in a little bit so I'm hitting control plus or command plus on a Mac to zoom in and then I can shrink my brush down a little bit to really just do slow clicks along here to make sure I get exactly what I want as I click and drag. Now it's going to be a problem with this little bits of grass here but I'm not really concerned about that the sort of weeds vegetation there. I don't really need that for this particular image. If I did want to get that, I could um, you know, use Quick Mask and paint it in. Notice I've selected a little bit extra here. I could do the undo, control Z or command Z. But as I click and drag down here, uh, it's still going to grab that. So how do we resolve this? Well, we could go into Quick Mask mode and paint it out. But with the Quick Selection tool, if you hold Alt or Option, you get the minus. It's kind of like clicking up here on the minus in the option. But you can do it in the fly and you can basically push in to drag in to select and what will happen is it will actually uh, work on that you know adjusting that there now I didn't have auto enhance checked typically that will help too if you have that checked on here uh, you don't have to have sample all layers because we're sampling just from this one layer but uh, you can definitely have the auto enhance and that will typically help uh, sometimes it slows down your computer which is what's happening right here. So sometimes I like to keep that off depending on uh, you know how you're doing in your selection. So at this point it's pretty good. I got the rock that I wanted um, as I hold down the space bar to reposition. Now it's a pretty easy selection. It's pretty much all the bottom. All I gotta worry about is this little bit right in here which it looks like it is grabbing. So again hold alter option to drag in a little bit 
And again, this would take so much more time if we use the um, magic wand tool to try and do this. So this really is the best option here. Again, I can hold alter option to grab that little bit there. Um, and I can just click a little bit more along here. It looks pretty good. And I'm almost there, dragging down and voila, I got the rest of the image here, which is what I want. So let's go ahead and hit control zero or commands on a Mac. And now I can see my marching ant selection. If I click on the quick mask button or hit the Q key, uh, you can see uh, clearly what is going to be masked off once I add the layer mask, which again is the square circle over here on the layers palette that looks like a little camera icon. And that looks pretty good. I mean, it's definitely not perfect. There is a little bit of that vegetation if I hold shift key uh, that you can see I missed here. But overall, it is a very quick and easy selection. There's a little bit of junk here. So sometimes you have to still refine, you know, with a paintbrush tool with 100% opacity. I can easily paint this out in the mask here, um, you know, just by painting away here. So uh, if that's an issue, go ahead and do that. Um, but overall, you know, it looks fairly good. There is not really any issues too much in this selection again except for this little blue junk here and there's a tiny bit here you know that you could zoom in and sort of paint on um, see so what you would do is zoom in here and I'm going to turn off this layer because before I try to paint out and I realized uh, what was happening I was seeing the layer underneath but now I could zoom around here to this little bit here and hit the B for brush shrink down my brush a little bit and just paint it out and voila now I got that little bit out. So you can basically just hold the space bar, go around if you want a really excellent selection. And if I am doing very precise or masking, I'll do this. I'll kind of go around, make sure there's no little weird blue bits if it's sky or, you know, other stuff that I, I don't need. Um, this is looking pretty good overall. There's this stuff here. Looks like this is from the... Um, the rock that's not so great. Now sometimes your brush looks a little bit too regular like if I paint along here and sometimes I like to use a lasso tool and just to make a little bit bumpier a little bit more organic kind of selection so I can do that and then there's a couple ways you can deal with it. You can paint the paint it out with the brush tool so I can come in here and increase size of my brush just by using the bracket keys and paint it out or with the foreground color being black you can hit the um, not the backspace but the alt backspace and that will get it out of there or option backspace on a Mac um, and just like that voila and then hit control D or command D on a, a Mac to uh, let go now it looks like there's a little bit of straggle line along here I just noticed it's very subtle and a little bit right here of that lasso didn't quite get it all but this looks pretty good and if you see a little bit of bumps that you're not crazy about you can always go in and kind of finesse here's a little bit extra junk here that I would probably get rid of you know just by painting out like that but now we have a really excellent selection this little bit up here with the vegetation I would probably just get rid of it I don't think it's that important for the image um, you don't really notice it, especially from afar so uh, the power of the quick mask tool in Photoshop CC, let's add a new layer, click on the trash can here, drag it below, actually I'll drag it below both these layers, and then I'll hit the G key, this time I'll pick a, a not so quite uh, intense color, maybe a muted sort of yellow here, and then click OK and click in the background, a little softer on the eyes here. And so I could see that one, and then that one, and I, I don't know, I, I definitely, you know, if we look at these two, um, you know, that one versus this one, I definitely did a better job on the second masking, you can see especially in the little bits here and here, and up here. So uh, until next time, see you soon at Adobe Photoshop CC. Cheers.